Hi everyone, my name is Linwood Hill. I'm at the Milton Model Train Museum in Milton, Pennsylvania. We're on the third floor of the Milton Community Center building, which was formerly known as the Milton Moose on South Front Street. Just give you a little brief history and update of the layout. Sixteen years ago, community members in Milton were approached by a retired minister, Reverend Walker, who was born and raised in Milton and lived in Lewisburg. He had had a core layout of Milton in the 1950s. As his health was declining, he wanted to donate the layout to some organization that could be preserved. We started the basic uh, layout, like I say, 16 years ago in the summer. What it was, he contacted members of the community and we had an informal group that got together. Most of us had no model railroading experience, but we had community-minded service, so we started with the basic layout. By uh, December of the first year, we had the platform, as you'll see in a few minutes here, we had the platform, it was completely level. We put some houses, we laid some track, ran a couple trains on it, and had over 300 people visit that first Christmas season. From there, the group expanded. We've been working on the layout for many, many years now, or like I say, our 16th year. We've entertained families from Milton, Lewisburg, Watsontown, surrounding areas. We've actually had visitors from as far away as Australia and New Zealand. It's a community nonprofit group. We're open to the public on certain events. We're open every holiday season. There's no admissions fee. We're, like I say, a nonprofit. And in a minute here, we'll give you some views of the layout and show you where we're at in 2023. I'll give you a brief layout of the Milton Model Train Museum, a tour of the layout. We start at the north end of Milton where AC and F Industries were located. You'll see a, one of the many buildings that they had on their location. The buildings are currently there, although it's no longer an active rail car manufacturing plant. The forerunner of AC and F Industries with an inventor, or they built the very first tank car in the United States, and we have a replica on display at the Milton Borough building. As you move down through Milton, you'll see some of the industries, some of the homes. The first notable building you'll come to here after AC&F would be the Milton Police Station. This was originally the Pennsylvania Railroad passenger station for Milton. Adjacent to it was a freight station which is no longer in existence. Across the street is the Reading Railroad Freight Station, which is now the borough offices for the borough of Milton. As we move down through town, you'll notice some of the many houses. You'll notice the downtown area. We have a replica of Front Street with the buildings, uh, the churches, also the Moose Building where we are located currently. We move down through town. You'll see more of the houses. You'll see one of the service stations, the gas station that was in town. 
Some of the vehicles, replica of the time period in the 1950s. Here we have an unfortunate incident. We have a home that is unfortunately on fire, but the Melton Fire Department is on scene and taking care of that problem. We'll move down. At one time, Melton had Hassinger Studebaker Garage. It was uh, notable in the borough that was a family-owned business for many, many years. We move on down here. You'll see some more of the houses. and You'll buy the A&P Milk Products plant, which was currently there. They made powdered milk products. We have the next building, would have been a silk mill, H. Warsaw and Company. As we come down here, we have stalls, flour and feed mill. The building is still there, the mill is no longer in existence. We move around the corner here, one of the most notable businesses in Milton, Chef Boardy Foods. The Chef Boardy family came to Milton in the 1930s from Cleveland, Ohio, I believe, and established a food manufacturing plant which is still in existence today and is part of the ConAgra food products. We come around next, you'll see what appears to be a ball field, which actually was a ball field. We come across, you'll see the Borough Island, which is now Milton State Park. At one time there were many circuses that were held on that island. The far end of the island you'll see a football field and at one time the high school played football on what is now Melton State Park. You'll notice the river, the Susquehanna River, which sometimes is not quite in its bank. Sometimes it inundates uh, most of what would be on this layout. Another view of the layout, we start up at the north end of town near ACNF Industries would be the Lincoln Street School. We move down along Front Street, which is the main thoroughfare in Melton. You'll see the beautiful Art Deco style post office in the borough of Melton. It's, uh, I believe, it could be on the National Register. As we move down Front Street, you'll see many of the many businesses that were on Front Street in Melton. We come down various storefronts. As we move down here we have Bethany Methodist Church. It's a local landmark built in the 1800s. As we move down here we'll end our quick tour at the Moose Building which is the home to the Milton Model Train Museum layout. This building was handcrafted by a former police chief in Melton. Very beautiful representative of the Melton Moose Building, which is now named the Melton Community Center. The Melton Model Train Museum is located on the third floor of the building. We are ADA accessible. We do have an elevator in the building now, so everyone is welcome regardless of your situation. We thank you for your, your time to watch us, and we invite everyone to stop by, check out our Facebook page, Melton Model Train Museum, and we thank you very much.